Welcome to Famous Fortunes, I hope you are well, your host, Lord of the Orbs, Lord of the Tea, Lord Famous Fortunes, <laughs> I hope you're well today, I'm not sure what I'm going to read on, I repeat, I am not sure what I'm going to read on today, I'm flicking through a few things here, nothing's really grabbing my fancy, I mean, there's a few juicy topics, I mean, here we go, we've got Goldilocks here, I don't know, with this gold dress, another New York City award ceremony, or whatever it is, you know, another day, another dollar, really, I suppose. Uh, that they have to pay for those awards, but uh, I, I'm i struggling to come up with a topic for today's video, to be completely honest with you, on this Wednesday, on this Wednesday, the 17th of May, 2023, your host, Lord Famous Fortunes, Lord of the Orbs, broadcasting live from, I'm doing I'm doing my, uh, my best George Norrie uh, impersonation, broadcasting live from the Pacific Ocean, the other side, of course. The, the other side of the Pacific Ocean, not the Nori side, the opposite side uh, today. No, this isn't Spooky Saturday, but uh, some some readings do get spooky. Uh, yesterday's reading was weird. I think that's fair to say. The, 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 there's something going on there that's just so weird that it's going to be bombshell when it comes out. Does Charles know? I think he does from what I see on the cards. I'm also having a look here. So they go to this ceremony in New York, and guess who's there? It's Doria. Doria is in tow. She's been brought along. Um, I can't think of any examples where this is a thing, except for, I do know, isn't it true to say Michelle Obama, Barack Obama, their mother lived, or one of their mothers lived at the White House for a bit, maybe they went around touring with them for a bit, Um I think that may have happened just from memory. Like, I don't follow the politics closely. I don't know. Did, I'm not sure if Trump's mum moved in. But uh, maybe maybe Melania's mum moved in, though, to be fair. <laughs> to be fair to both sides. Um, I've got to, every, I have to say both sides, otherwise the comments t turns on fire. Uh, actually, if I wanted more comments, uh, then I'd have to just say something like that. I, I just need to throw, throw a political comment in there and then just watch a one-sided political comment. Watch the comment section get torn up, or if I said that Archie or Lilibet actually existed, let that be known, I know the comment section will be set on fire, I'm, I'm, at, I'm at a loss today folks, I'm at a loss at what to do, um, I don't know, what's the, let's just find out, what's the idea here with Doria going to all of these events, uh, I don't know, let's ask on that, let's just pick a few topics today, this is going to be like a buffet, uh, but a nice one, you know, uh, more like a degustation menu today, let's call it, if I'm saying that right, I, th I think I am. But uh, not that that's my thing. I'll be honest with you. Those types of eating arrangements are not for me personally. But sure, if that's your thing, then I don't blame you. Quite fancy indeed, but not quite, not my, not my cup of tea. But why, the question remains, why is Doria in tow to this event? It's, it's odd. And I have to say, if, when you look at the photos of them, of, I should post one that you've got here. Uh... Megs and Has and Doria all in the one photo. In fact, I'll, I'll actually use this one tonight. That'll be good. Um, we we'll use this photo tonight. And there's a... I, just a question in my mind as to what's going on. Um, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Why is Doria there? I'm, I'm struggling to get enthusiastic about this. Hopefully we can see something great on the cards. Why is Doria in tow? Cards are hot. Three of coins. This is the threesome. Three of them. Three. Uh, he should makes an appearance. The sun. Six of swords. Seven of cups. She travelled with them there. Okay, fair enough. Seven of cups. What's this here? That's interesting. And the eight of cups. Oh, the page of cups. And the page of wands. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That's interesting. This is interesting. Now, we need to investigate. We need to investigate this because we have two pages as underlying energies. Ah, uh, that's profound. We're going to have to call this the babysitter. I was hoping for something good. Babysitter Doria. That's pretty much the, the theme of this episode now, I guess, is we're, we're being stamped with this. Babysitter Doria it is, until further notice. I'm just going to enjoy my tea. Uh, I'm not going to cut any of this, folks. That's so pure enjoyment energy coming at you right now through the screen. Hope you're having a good time. Hope you're having a good time. Uh, 
the Page of Cups, Page of Wands. Actually, I had some very touching comments in the, uh, last night, and uh, some people said that, you know, watching Famous Fortunes has got them through some very, very difficult times in their life. And I thought that was uh, quite beautiful and touching, actually. Uh, and we certainly, I certainly like to stick to the positive energy uh, in life, in general, right? In general, I start to stick to the positive. Uh, once you start getting a bit negative, it starts to get sort of hairy at that point. Uh, it, Try to remain positive, I guess. This is the thing. Try to remain positive no matter what you're going through. It's hard sometimes, but uh, don't give up hope. Just keep keep pushing forward. Keep pushing forward. That's all I can say from experience. Uh, but in any event, uh, doing Famous Fortunes has helped me. Don't don't you worry about that. It has helped me. Uh, and all of you have helped me as well, although you don't know it. Uh, but maybe some of you do. I'm not sure. But uh, I hope I've hoped. Uh, I hope I've helped many people actually out there. I hope I've influenced many people in a positive way, right? A positive way, like made good changes in their life, all the rest of it. All right, tea, I don't know, give up, oh, whatever. Give me a coffee even for tea. What a, what a great thing. Gynostemma, no caffeine. Small thing, folks. It's a small thing, but, you know, ring some good. Every little bit helps. So, yeah, I had some great comments. Let's stick to Doria here for a minute before I get too sort of carried away. I'm getting whimsical now. I don't want to get whimsical, but I'm getting whimsical. Um, so... Underlying energy, two pages. So was she there because the kids were in New York? Or was she there because they needed a babysitter? Because the kids are in New York and they were going to New York and they were seeing the kids and they needed care. Folks, hmm. don't necessarily, when I say babysitter Doria, don't think that those kids traveled with them because they may have and they may not have. And that's going to be our next question. Because we're going to dial this in. We're going to get to the bottom of this. I know it's 900 plus episodes now, Famous Fortunes. I want to hit... Let's... let's. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I hope you've listened to this point. Let's do a group manifestation. We're going to find out the secret of the kids before episodes 1,000. All right? We're going to all believe it's going to happen. Whatever we're, whatever we're going to do, right? Just, just, just believe it. All right? And we'll put it out there and we'll see what happens. All right? Just... If you're in, just let it be known in the comments. All right? I'm in. I'm in. Why not? What, what's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen? Uh, we don't find out by episode 1,000 what the truth is. I just want to, I think we all just want to know the truth at this point. That's all. We just want to know the truth. There's been so much secrecy, so much weird stuff. Um, we all just want to know the truth. Um, and, yeah. So, she is... It's almost as if they're confusing her role a little bit here. So the real role was for, the, for the, like as a babysitter, I'm assuming from these two pages. But see, there's a bit of confusion as to as to what she was doing there, uh, and that's almost you know touching on the gaslighting element, right? Sort of she's there because she's somehow, in, I don't know, I'm, I'm important in the scheme of things. I, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, it's. Here we go. She also brought along her rarely seen mother, Doria Ragland, for the big night. Rarely seen. I don't know about rarely seen, to be honest with you. Rarely seen. Rarely seen is Archie and Lilliput. <laughs> Let it be known, folks. Let it be known. I knew there was something there. Sometimes you just got to knock on the door a little bit. And you're like, hang on. There's something behind door number one. What is it? Up. Oh, yep. Rarely seen. That's what it is. You're just tapping. You're just tapping. Like a tradie, just tapping. Oh, was it? Oh, okay, hollow. There's something there. There's something there. All right. So, so she brought along Doria for the big night. It would have been good if they were both in gold. I think that would have been great. Uh, that would, <laughs> why not? And okay, so she had gold earrings. It was all gold, gold, gold. Um, kind of a bit over the top, I thought, but all right. And she did become emotional. And Doria looked unbelievably pla- a little unbelievably unbelievably proud. She looked unbelievably proud. Um, how does someone look unbelievably proud? Like, like pulling a face, like distorted or something? Like, I don't know, are they really proud or are they feeling something else? Uh, that's what that says to me. So let's just before let's just throw one little quick spread on that. Was Doria unbelievably proud? And then we'll ask, did the kids travel with them? Or did they go with the kids? Would be our first question. Because what's this page underlying energy? And this be investigated. Cards are hot. 
four of, excuse me, nine of wands. That's not pride, folks. Two of wands, uh, ten of wands. That's not pride either. The moon is definitely not pride. Two of cups, underlying energy, the prince of wands. That's Harry. Um, okay, so this this underlying energy is Harry. Uh, is coming up. So Doria's got Harry under on the mind somehow. Uh, Doria's not proud. I can understand perhaps the unbelievable, you know, they're, they're sort of misreading the facial expression a little bit here. That she's, I, I, would, I wouldn't say this is pride. This is more sort of misfortune as to how the situation's ended up. It's something's become a, you know, a lot to carry. There's been a, a lot, you know, a lot, a lot to carry for someone. It's, it's not worked out as expected for their partnership. So I'm assuming Doria's got has and Megs on the mind. The moon is not a very positive card here as well. There's things that are um, unseen about their relationship. Unseen. Unseen about their relationship. That's, that's, I wouldn't, this is not pride. This is more, I don't know, concern or even beyond that. Not Concern is like, oh, things might get bad. No, she's, she recognizes things are pretty not good. Okay, so that's what I see there. Well, let's move on. That was just a brief one. Let's just let's churn some readings out now. Did the kids go with them to New York? Let's let's see what we can get. Did the kids go with them to New York with Doria as babysitter? Cards are hot. The Hierophant, the Devil. Oh boy, here we go. I knew it. King of Wands. There's that man. Ten of Swords. The Magician, Underlying Energy, the Death Card. Where are my coins? Where are my coins today? Where's the, de the Devil Jar? has been cranking, hasn't it? Absolutely cranking. This is like the most casual episode of Famous Fortunes I think I've ever done. That's not true. That's a, that's not true. There's been far more casual episodes than this. I remember there was a guinea pig stroking for a full half hour at one point there, where things got pretty hairy. But uh, all right, never mind. Okay, so did the kids travel with them? No, sir, they did not. Here we go. Put put your crazy haps on. This is the funny buggers are coming out today. Uh, I, yeah, funny buggers are out today. I don't know what's going on here with the devil card. There's there's something dodgy going on now. As soon as we start knocking on the door of the kids, dodgy, 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 the death card, the devil, the ten of swords, there's an ending here, there's an ending, there's an ending, there's a man here that's not Harry, there's also some type of institution, now this institution could be the royals, this is typically the, the royal card, however, uh, this institution could be, it could be something else. It could be something else. Now, could it be, you know, it could be, it is also a government card. Royals, government, institutions, tradition, that type of thing. Could be some type of government intervention here. Uh, there's some type of government intervention. I know some people did mention certain services of the government, perhaps, that may be intervening uh, in the comments. That's interesting in and of itself, just to say that. Uh, but to me, it looks like, the kids are, where are the kids? Where are the kids? Because the kids didn't travel with them. And the kids, there's some funky cards coming up here about what's going on with the kids. It looks like the kids are sort of not a part of their life anymore. That's what I'm seeing. So why, what's going on? Where are the kids back in California? Let's, let's just ask that one. Or were they in New York the whole time? What's going on here? Are the kids in California? Are the kids in California or New York? We're going to do a fork spread. On the left, California. On the right, New York. So we're going to fork it up. Let's get forked today on Famous Fortunes. Why not? Cards are hot. Where are they? Five. Oh, loss. Loss. They lost them. <laughs> it's the card, folks. Look it up. Okay. Uh, left side of the fork. California. Four of Wands. That's home. The Sun. Page of Wands. Okay, Archie. Uh, there's no little bit. Archie is in California, I would say. Next, next uh, part of the fork. Nine of Coins, Two of Wands, the Empress. The mother or a mother is in 
New York. Now that's interesting because what we've been seeing over the few episodes is that the problems with the father, not the mother. Uh, if you recall in the last few episodes, we've dived into this. So just let that be known. The mother's in New York. The kids are back in California. So why are we seeing two pages as the underlying energy for Doria? Anyone? Anyone? Why is she really there? Two pages? Doesn't look like they're attending. Doesn't look like they're attending together. So why then would Doria come up with two pages? Can we get some clarity on that card? And also, just so you know then, that there's actually only one page. There's only one page in Montecito. Or in, excuse me, California, to be correct. It's one page and it looks like it's Archie's archetype. Okay, so why are we seeing... Let's go back to this roundabout again. That's bombshell in and of itself, but... Um, I, I suppose. But uh, let's ask, why are... Why is Doria coming up with a page or two as the underlying energy in terms of what she's doing there? Why is that happening? Can we get a good answer here? Queen of Wands is the underlying. Queen of Wands is working uh, with the Eight of Coins. So Cards are Hot, Six of Coins, the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Wands, Archie, here we go. Two of Cups, Four of Coins. Why, 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 why? Why? Something is not certain here about Archie. There's something that's up in the air. Uh, that's um. There's something about Archie that's not solid. It's something that's sort of maybe. What do I mean by that? Because that can mean a bunch of things. There's something with, with to Archie's situation that's not uh, regular and routine. It's something that's a bit out of their control. Uh, this is odd. It's almost like is she giving help? When the sort of things are out of control a bit or out of their control, uh, help to the couple. Um, when when she's working, possible. But why are things out of control? It's bizarre. So strange. So strange. I nearly knocked the camera off. I shouldn't have said it. Probably most of you wouldn't even realised. But now you're definitely going to know. Let's uh, let's investigate. Why are we seeing the Wheel of Fortune? What is it that is out of control? Are we going to hit the jackpot? Are we going to hit the jackpot? Cards are hot. Uh, underlying energy is the Four of Cups. And also we have a birth mother here. Also we have the tower. So something's something's happened with the mother. Um, there's something here that's been an unexpected turn of events that's been disappointing for the mother. Um, the birth mother, that's not Doria. Uh, and then we have eight of coins, something unexpected, two of, okay, something working on, some type of relationship here. There's a man with the king of pentacles. There's a man that something's come to an end with the 10 of swords. And there's a three of cups. So it looks like next card, the emperor. So there's a father here, or at least there's a third party father. Again, we're touching on the same concept. There's a man that's a third party to them, and it's a father figure. It's a father figure. That's that's the, the thing that's being touched on here. Uh, for the life of me, I still don't know what that means. <laughs> I'll be honest. For the life of me, I still don't know what that means. Uh, it looks like there's a man in the picture. I know many people have said for the longest time, it's a woman, there's a woman, a surrogate, and all the rest of it. I know people have said that for the longest time. I'm sort of not seeing that. I've seen third party for the longest time. If you remember going back a long time ago, uh, I, I said that it looks like there's some type of third party activity going on with all this. But now it looks like it's to do with a man. It's to do with a man. Actually, I did suggest this to someone the other day. They just said straight out, that's the bodyguard. <laughs> Folks, I know I kind of choked on that going, oh, it's probably plausible actually given... You know, certain people just have this nasty habit of falling into their bodyguard's arms. Nasty habit, folks. As I've said before, I just hope that they are standing up when that happens. But uh, all right, just whatever suit floats your boat, I suppose. It's California after all. Shout out to everyone in California that's listening. Um, I probably enjoy it, to be honest with you. I probably enjoy the place. It's sort of, from what I gather, um, in certain parts at least, pretty laid back, chill, beaches, all the rest of it. Open-minded people, you know, I'd probably love it. Um, honestly, I probably would. 
Uh, I, I, t I talk about it like I wouldn't, but I probably would. Uh, certain parts of it. I think the big cities, though, give me a, give it a miss. Give it a miss for me. But um, all right, we can go through what Hollywood. We've got to go through Hollywood or whatever just to have a laugh. But sure, I wouldn't want to hang out in the cities. Uh, right. So okay, <laughs> we, we, all roads lead to Rome. That's pretty much what I'm seeing. Babysitter Doria and. I'm, I'm, I'm stunned, actually. I am stunned. Because how can you be babysitting when you don't have the kids with you? Someone needs to answer that question. We're seeing a very coherent set of readings today. Which makes me think we're onto something. So do put your opinions into the comment section below. Do give us your thoughts on what you think, just what the hell is going on and just what is happening all right so jump in there let it be known um i welcome your comments and your questions and your in, in your engagement <laughs> your engagement oh boy i uh, welcome it all folks i welcome it all there's even a little oh here we go <laughs> oh, oh i'm just having a look at the thumbnail this is going to be hilarious uh, here we go. Archie, here he is. Um, should we include him today? Nah, we'll leave him out. Um, let's just say... This has been very strange. Very, very strange. I'll see you in the comments.